reversed. This can only mean Master Zaynor was right. What's Master Xehanort doing here? Maybe he found something out. seem to remember this address exactly. Hmm? Excuse me, Your Elderness. Huh? I believe you dropped this book. Did I? I'm very sad to say this isn't one of mine, but what a remarkable book it is. This unassuming volume seems to have the unusual effect of awakening one's innermost abilities. A book that makes people stronger? If it's all right, Your Elderness, might I have a closer look? The name is Merlin. I'm a powerful wizard, and I'll have you know a lot of wisdom comes with age. Anyway, as I said, the book is not mine, but I'd be happy to keep it here for you. Thank you, Merlin.
Want some? Vem? 
Terra, Aqua. <laughs> Got him. We make a good team. Sure do. Oh, yeah. I got you these tickets. For what? Lifetime passes to Disney Town. He said to... He said to take two grown-ups. You mean us? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Ven. We need to get you home. It's okay, Aqua. Trust me, that guy in the mask is history. I'll never badmouth Terra again. You saw the boy in the mask? Uh, y yes? Venetus. Ven, you let Aqua take you home. No way! I want to go with you guys. You can't. We have a dangerous task ahead of us. I don't want you to get hurt. And what is this dangerous task, Terra? It doesn't sound like what the Master told you to do. It might be a different route, but I'm fighting the darkness. I'm not so sure. I've been to the same worlds as you, and I've seen what you've done. You shouldn't put yourself so close to the darkness. <laughs> Listen to yourself, Aqua. Terra would never- You mean you've been spying on me? Is that what he said to do? The Master's orders? He was only... Aqua? I get it. Terra! Just stay put! <laughs> I'm on my own now, all right? Terra, please, listen! The Master has no reason to distrust you, really. He was just worried.
Master Xehanort is the only one I can still count on. You must be Terra. It's that old coot. He won't stop asking for you. I came all the way out here to get you, just so he'd clam up. What do you mean? Ha! Do I have to spell it out? Xehanort, whatever he's called. You know, my prisoner. <laughs> You're apparently not a very good liar. Master Xehanort would never let himself be caught by a thug like you. As if. I got the old coot at my mercy. See for yourself. I'm holding him underneath the outer gardens. Better show up before I lose my patience. Ciao. There's no way it's true. But no harm in looking.
Master Xehanort! The old coot certainly knows how to take punishment. Just like I know how to deal it out. You monster! What are you after? That thing right there. It's called the Keyblade, isn't it? Yep. Seems like these days everybody's got one of those. Even Grandpa there. When I nabbed him, he told me all about it. What a weapon like that can do. How could I not want one? Well, you'll find they're picky about their owners. Huh. If I heard the old guy right, you're what they call Keyblade Master Material. So if I defeat you, that makes me the real Keyslinger. If you catch my drift. Not the most polite way to go about it. But what can you do? Uh, uh, one more step and the coot goes boom. You think I'm gonna fight fair? As if. That key's too powerful for us to go mano a mano. <laughs> for a Keyblade Master, you're not very... What's the word? Good? What are you doing, Tara? Fight! But Master, you'll... Never mind me! You must fight! You can't let this ruffian win! Think of your master, Ericus! The shame he and your fellow pupils would be forced to bear! Use the Keyblade! So much for the bluff.
Terra, you have taken yet another step forward. But I was consumed by anger, hatred. That was the power of darkness. Darkness that you channeled. No, I succumbed to it. Just like when I stole Princess Aurora's heart of light. I can never return home now. I'm a failure. Then don't. You could be my pupil. <laughs> Master Ericus, you see, is so afraid of darkness that he too has succumbed. Not to darkness, but to light. It shines so bright, he forgets that light begets darkness. And Aqua and Ventus, their lights shine too bright. It is only natural that they cast shadows on your heart. Ericus, he's such a fool. Light and darkness, they are a balance. One that must always be maintained. Terra, you are the one who shows the true mark of mastery. But he refuses to see it. And I know why. 
It is because he fears you. Join me. You and I can do the world's much greater good by wielding light and darkness in equal shares. Master Xehanort. See more worlds. Seek out the darkness that upsets the balance. Find Vanitas and bring an end to him. Master Terra. Do that, Ven. Uh, why not? I just. When I really need you, Ven, I know you'll be there. <laughs> well, why wouldn't I? You're my friend. Yeah. You're right. Thanks, Ven. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Just, just, just put that down. You still need me. You still need me to do something, right? And all I'm asking is that you hold up your end of the bargain. <laughs> I mean, what's a little scratch on my face, huh? All things considered. I'm just lucky you didn't steal my heart like Princess whatever it was. <laughs> I would have ruined my week for sure. Unlikely. A powerful light still lives inside of Terra. You see, people like him, they don't have the power to steal hearts. So wait, you mean... he's not the one who stole her heart? First. <laughs> I'll take you on. Look out! Huh? Phew. <sighs> and thanks for piping up back there. I mean it. The name's Terra. Nice to meet you, Terra. What are you nuts running out onto the course like that? Yeah, that's against the rules. I'm sure you had your reasons, but I can't say that I approve either. Well, rules don't apply when you're up against the unversed. Rules don't apply? You sound 
sound just like Pete. Look, it's Captain Dark. Disguised in shadows, the rogue racer reigns. I am Captain Dark. And you must be the chump who made me miss a new track record. Hold on. How's come I don't know you? Somebody bringing in a ringer? Ah, oh, I'm not even a racer. Must be downright temptatious to try and stop a primo racer like me from getting the record, but we all gotta play by the rules, rookie. Now, just a second. You're the no-good cheater who's always breaking the rules. Well, I can't say racing interests me, but I need to defeat the unversed. Tell me what I've got to do. Are you talking about all those carts that look like scary, ugly monsters? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we've only ever seen the monsters on the track. That's it! Tara, you just need to enter the races. And while you're at it, take that Captain Dark down a notch or two. He's always breaking the rules and causing trouble. I have to become a racer? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sure I don't have to tell you. I know. I'll play by the rules. <laughs> Yay! Tara's gonna be a new racer! Just come talk to me whenever you're ready. I'll get you signed up and everything! Yeah. 
see ya. Sprung a spring. Yahoo's just wait. Next time I'll clobber all of you. Yippee! I hope he's gone for good. Nobody's gonna vote for a weasel like you, Pete. Pete? Vote? What are you talking about? Chip means the Million Dreams Award. It's a very popular part of our dream festival. Everyone in town votes for who we think is the most exemplary citizen. And since everybody knows how much of a troublemaker Pete is, he probably figured wearing a disguise was the only way he'd get any votes. No votes, no prize. Yeah, the prize is all he really wants anyway. He doesn't care about being a good citizen. Oh, I think that's very sad. The award is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. Well, one thing I know for sure, I'm voting for Terra. Your racing really saved the day against those monster carts. Hip hip hooray for Terra! <laughs> well, I got something out of it too. I learned that you don't always have to bend the rules to reach your goals. Oh. All this time, I've been staring into the darkness. But... That doesn't mean I have to jump in. Stay back.
You okay? Huh? Yeah, thanks. <sighs> Guess they were too much for me. I'm just gonna have to train harder. You're pretty tough. It really handled those things. Are you here to enter the games? What games? The games games. To see who's strongest. One day, I'm gonna win them all and become a true hero. Hey! Where are you? Front and center right now, or I'm tacking on another thousand laps. Uh-oh. Gotta go. The Coliseum's just up ahead. I, I hope I get to see you fight there sometime! A competition. Hmm. I should find out how strong I really am. Jeez Louise, one chump after another. It's like a who's who of Decapolon disasters around here. All I need is one measly warrior tough enough to give Zeus a jolt of his own medicine. Wait. Dark, moody, powerful? Yes, he is perfect. This is it. How sad is this? Huh? Mm, pains me to see it. All that power going to waste. Who are you? Name is Hades, Lord of the Dead, God of the Underworld, yada yada, how you doing? Hey, let me guess. You're trying to put the kibosh on the darkness inside you. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Well, anyway, bad idea. Wait, what? Okay, stay with me. Darkness is inside everybody. Nothing to be ashamed of. You play nice with it, and darkness will be your best friend. But if you go and get all self-conscious and refuse to face it, the darkness will run over you like a debutante at a toga sale. And then where are you? Nowhere! Now me, I look at you, and I see potential. That's right, kid. You got the potential to conquer the darkness inside you. And I'll even give you some pointers. I mean, believe me, if anybody knows conquering, I know conquering. Well, let's hear it then. How do I conquer the darkness? Easy. You sign up for the games. I know, I know. Please, Lord Hades, the games. But hey, you would be surprised what you can learn in the heat of battle. And don't worry, I'll be right there to guide you every step of the way. I'm kind of what you'd call an expert in the art of darkness. Oh, decide fast. This is a limited time offer.
thunder! When are you going to tell me how to conquer the darkness? Hold your chariot horses. You would not believe the bureaucracy involved with these things. Name? Terra. Kind of earthy, but all right. Now, height and weight. What's this? Favorite god? <laughs> Come on, Hades. There, ba-boom. Easy peasy. I sense that you're already starting to get all warm and fuzzy with that darkness inside you. It's sweet, really. And hey, by the time you win the final match here, you'll have figured out how to conquer it for good. And don't worry, anything goes wrong, I'll make it all go away. Service with a smile. I got it.
this is not what I had in mind. Ah, uh, but hey, I can improvise. Time for Plan Beta. Pardon me, coming through. I'm gonna miss my match. Hello, Plan Beta. Hey, kid! Huh? Over here. Come here. Once I've conquered the darkness in my heart, I'll never have to fear it again. Super Warrior, see, right here, this, it's the power of darkness. Could have been yours, still could, if you open up to it. Hades! You were just playing me. The darkness will never have me. Help me. You've gotta set my heart free. It looks like I bet on the wrong dark horse. That kid doesn't have what it takes to handle darkness. You gonna make it? Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm finally free. Where is... He's gone. Man, how could I let a guy like him control me? I'll never live it down. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> um... Tara. Thanks, Tara. I'm Zack. Hmm. Yep. Definitely. Tara, you're exactly what I pictured a hero would be. Not the way you look. There's something else about you. Well, I'm no hero. Trust me. Are you kidding? Listen to those cheers, man. You don't get to decide if you're a hero or not. They do. And they've already made up their mind. Whether you like it or not, you're their hero. <laughs> and mine, too. It's too bad. I really wanted to fight you fair and square. Maybe someday, Zack. <laughs> here.
Is he the one? Yes, Grand Councilwoman. I've confined him until we can determine what he is. Take cover! Leave it to me to handle these fiends. Whatever you are, you're under arrest! Eventually. Unversed. I'll give you a fight. Very impressive display. Wait! You help! I have been imprisoned on ridiculous charges. Is that so? I am an innocent scientist who created Galaxy's most destructive, <laughs> constructive species of all time. Why my experiment could annihilate creatures you fought so hard. He is bulletproof, fireproof, and can think faster than supercomputer. He can see in the dark and move objects 3,000 times his rather diminutive size. And for reasons preposterous, the Federation Council fears him. They take him away from me and throw me here in small, stuffy, rather badly lit cell. Because he's so powerful? Exactly. Everyone always gets antsy and pantses when somebody more powerful is in the neighborhood. You understand, perhaps? We must make to rescue him, or he'll be banished to far reaches of space. Hmm. Okay then, take me to him. Experiment 626. Hmm? His name I give to adorable fluffy creature you're helping for to rescue. And I am genius scientist who created him, Dr. Jumba Jukiba. I'm Terra. Pleasure is all ours. Six to six is this way. Hurry!
Thunder!
Freeze! Freeze! Is it not such tremendous power in such itty bitty package? Truly, he's the one and that's the only. The mightiest creature in all of galaxy. And his only singular instinct to destroy everything he touches. See? What? When did you... give that back? Too late. He's already marked for destruction. No, stop! My friend gave me that! <laughs> oh. Friend? Are you joking? <laughs> Such concept is totally lost on 626. <laughs> Funny. This whole time I've been telling myself I want to be stronger, more independent. But the second I let my heart do the talking, I find out how little I really know myself, and how much I miss them. That experiment of yours, 
You sure about him? Maybe in his heart he wants friends, just like the rest of us. Impossible, Petty! He has no actual feelings, only destructive instincts I have carefully chosen for him. Or perhaps you need another demonstration of my evil geniusness. <laughs> Right, little one. Huh? What is it? Why have you returned? Maybe he's wondering what a friend is. Ridiculous. My name is Terra. Terra. Yes. I can't explain friendship. When you feel it, you'll know it. Not if I have any say in matter. You are only meant to think about what it is you will destroy next. Now, I fix what is wrong with you. Red alert! Red alert! Red alert! Red alert! Experiment 626 and two prisoners have escaped from the cell bay. Security, locate the fugitives immediately. Repeat, experiment 626 so two prisoners have escaped from the cell Well, we can't stay here and get caught. Ven? Aqua? I'll find some way to make things right. to me. Ah! <laughs> 
If I desired your assistance, I'd have demanded it. We had the situation under control. Isn't that right, Smee? Oh, yes, Captain, completely. We would have cleaved those fiends to the brisket, we would. Why, I'd have given them a little of this and this. And don't think your efforts mean you'll get a share of me treasure, understand? I'm not after your precious box, Captain. I'm looking for a person. A boy, wearing a mask. Ring any bells? No, not a one. Figures. It's me, you blithering barnacle. We're off. We shall leave this place before the light draws them back again. Huh? Hey, hold on. What did you just say about the light? Ah, yes, it's heartbreaking, really. This chest, you see, contains light gathered from all around. And I've got an acquaintance, a boy, who's sure to try and seize it. A boy who's after the light. If it's not Venetus, then who? Hey, why don't I help you keep the light safe? Maybe you could tell me more about this boy who's troubling you. What's his name? Peter Pan! <laughs> This chest must be brought to Skull Rock safely. Don't let that Peter Pan anywhere near it. Right. I got you covered.
Ah! 
Captain, but it's about that shooting star I was mentioning to ye. Mr. Smee, I ordered you to drop that. I'll not have you gushing on about some shooting star. Yeah, but, but, Captain, most shooting stars twinkle for a bit and then they go out. But this one, it, it, it kept on sparkling and shining even after it crashed down. Why, what if it's really a big, enormous, priceless gemstone? Idiot! Why didn't you tell me? Hmm? <clears throat> We've a bit of business to attend to and must, I fear, step away. I trust you can see to things till I return? Sure. When Peter Pan gets here, I'll be waiting. Fish. Looks like he's found himself a new flunky. I'll fly down and distract him. Men, you move in and nab the treasure. Are you Peter Pan? That's me! The light is not yours to take. You won't stop me! Want some? What is this? Pirate treasure, of course. Jewels, doubloons, you know, the usual stuff. I've been guarding a pile of loot? 
Sounds like you've been tricked. I'll say. I owe you an apology. I picked a fight over nothing. Oh, it was all in good fun. Not every day I get to fight such a good swordsman. Say, what's your name anyway? Terra. Right then, Terra. Which way did Hook go? They said something about a shooting star. Shooting star? Tinkerbell must be in danger. Men, guard that treasure with your lives! Aye, aye, sir! You go and get him, Pan! Well, I should be on my way. As well. What's that? Tinkerbell, one of Peter Pan's dearest friends. Can I take a look? So long as I have his precious pixie, Pan's demise is all but assured. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? You know, I didn't give it that much thought. Just doing what my heart tells me. That's mutiny! And you'll walk the plank for it! <gasps> that sound! <laughs> Hooray! We sure show hook this time! Every star up there is another world. Huh? Uh. Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, then. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now! <laughs> oh, 
so much for the pirate treasures. Hmm. Did you guys really want the jewels and gold that badly? Huh? Nah, we don't care about that stuff. Uh, but a uh, pan was counting on us. I'll tell you what. Put the stuff that's really special to you in there. That can be your treasure. Yeah! yeah! Real swell idea. Thanks! <gasps> kind of makes me wonder what I'd put in there. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. we'll ever be a team again. Looks like all the things that once held us together just push us further away. And now the light has led me here. What am I supposed to do? Was I guided here in order to meet that boy? Oh! Ahoy! We're over here! Riku, race ya! First one to the boat gets to be captain! <laughs> Come on! You call that running? Outside world? Huh? Why would you say that? Because nobody lives out here. And I know you're not from the main island. Smart kid. So how about you? What are you doing here? Oh. My friend's dad took us out on the boat. This is where we like to play. But it won't let us row out here by ourselves. Not till we get older. Must be hard, huh? Stuck in one place. There was a kid who left for good. <laughs> so how did you get here anyway? Is there some reason you're interested in the outside world? Yeah. I want to be strong one day, like that kid who left. He went to the outside world. I bet he's really strong now. I know it's out there somewhere, the strength that I need. Strength for what? 
to protect the things that matter. You know, like my friends. Outside this tiny world is a much bigger one. In your hand, take this key. So long as you have the makings, then through this simple act of taking, its wielder you shall one day be, and you will find me, friend. No ocean will contain you then. No more borders around or below or above, so long as you champion the ones you love. You gotta keep this a secret, okay? Otherwise, all the magic will wear off. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what was that all about? Uh, you know. Know what? Why won't you tell me? Who was that guy? Somebody you know? Maybe. Oh, there you go again. Just tell me. I really can't. I've gotta keep it a secret. Not with me, you don't. I'm like the best secret keeper in the world. Nice try. <laughs> oh, Riku! Protect the things that matter. Right. My friends matter to me, too. So, I still have things that I have to protect. That light. Is it Ben? Master Terra. Find me. We must speak at once. Master Xehanort. 